never ate avocado toast when we lived in LA and now we moved to Portland and avocados are more expensive and I've become an avocado toast person. Oh, the irony. Hello and welcome to episode four of Honestly with Ashley. This is my honest review show for Spoke. Today I'm joined by my husband, Maddie. So apparently every time there's food or drink, I show up. Yes, we are reviewing three toasters well, one toaster oven, two toasters today. We have at the low end of the spectrum, this Amazon one, which kind of looks like a smeg dupe. This one is under $40. Ooh. Then we have this one by Hay, which is $95. And the Balmuda, which is $300. We had seen so many people reviewing the Balmuda on TikTok and so many videos about it that I was like, I wanna get my hands on this. I wanna try it out. And then these two were like, okay, how does it compare to just like a regular toaster so this one feels pretty sturdy looks mm -hmm. good on a counter the hay one i was actually surprised about it feels like pretty flimsy i think for the price point it reminded me of like an easy bake oven i had as a little girl we're gonna try bagels fresh bread and eggo waffles so we're doing something from frozen we're doing bagels fresh bread. And, and i think the name of the game when it's, i think it's comparing these two side by side and then and then, and then highlighting the features of Well, this highlighting one. the features of this one, but also this is toast that the artisanal bread or the bagel like that much better that it merits the $300 price point. I think it will, but we have to, that's the whole point of testing, see. right? Testing time. Okay, so I have sliced our bagels. We just got plain bagels. We got these from Bernstein Bagels in Portland, Oregon. Every time we drive by, there's a very long line and I've been like, we gotta try them. So it's the first time. Very so excited. Kind of like a special guest taste test for Bernstein Bagels in yes. Portland, Oregon, locally, shop local. And we'll have to figure out, there is a bagel setting on, 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 on this so one. Good. And so that one will be these like that. These side by side. Yeah. And then in the Balmuda, you can just put them facing um, up like this. Worth mentioning that this is a, a, also a, a steam oven, and this is a yes. newer technology that's definitely taking off right now. Put water in it, and it uses steam along with like the heating elements to not only give you like a toast, but to... Oh, Mia's got a lot of things to say about steam ovens too. Not only is it toasting it, but the steam uh, keeps the bread moist, which I know is your favorite word of all time. And it's just like not the best word. It's fine. There's nothing we can't really get replaced with another yeah, word yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's th another reason why we should definitely. There's a clear difference between like what this does and what these two do. But I'm hungry. Let's eat some bagels. Let's eat some bagels. Yeah, this is this one's this one's sad. Do you want to show it to the camera? Yeah, it's like not. It's like I'm. I might, okay, I might turn around. Kind of just ding ding. Oh yeah. It's too toasted. Oh, this one. <laughs> It's way too toasty. Yeah. Okay, let's look at Balmuda baby. Yeah. It's perfect. Balmuda is here. Let me. It's really. It is beautiful. Yeah. This is kind of like what I mean. Not completely perfect, but that's kind of what is. you want. Let me see that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the burnt bagel. <laughs> we got the undercooked bagel, and looking Dude, like. Should we try to toast this one more? No, I think it's like, just not even going. Let me feel. Oh, it's, it's very hot. It's like. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I think the first test we're going to do is just have some butter with the bagel. Toast and bagels can get very hard in a toaster. This is like still like if I pressed it, it would, would smoosh and it would make crunchy noises. This is this feels like a brick. It would smoosh. It would smoosh. I don't the know one from I Amazon. It. All right. Which is like, I looked up when we recorded this, it's like $31 right now. First off. Good bagel. I mean, that tastes, that tastes good. Good bagel. It, the color isn't great, but it tastes good. It tastes good. Let's just go straight into this. Oh, so much better. That is such an enormous difference. It really is. Like, not only is it really crispy and, and and obviously crunchy on the outside but the inside's still like moist and just like kind of perfect it's like chewy where that one is it's all it's, it's all like one hard yeah. throughout really crunchy mm -hmm. and this has both wow this is, this is a very good bagel mm -hmm. very good bagel i feel bad for this one 
That's really sad. There's well, nothing we could really do, right? While you eat that, I'm just going to go for it. Okay. With no butter. Oh, yeah. With this one, not only did it burn it out, but like the, it like completely dried out the inside. Should we versus, do a cross section of this? Yeah, versus like this one. It's almost as if it's like reheating the, the bread in the middle too while toasting the outside. So clear winner here, obviously. But then between these two, definitely favoring the Amazon one. What this has going for it is at least it got the entire thing where this one, like, this is a normal size bagel and it didn't toast a third of it. Yeah. Hey, even without butter, this ba these bagels are really good. We gotta go here more often. Okay, next up, artisanal bread. This is from Cafe Ollie in Portland, Oregon. This is my favorite bread that we found. It's so good. They make it there. And I've been getting a loaf every week since we got the Balmuda because like I said, I've been into avocado toast. I'm going to pop that one up there. Nice uh, color on this one. Yes. And then for these two, actually decent color. Both of these feel a bit dry. So Amazon one first. Here. It's very dry. I feel like this toaster just like kind of does two things. It heats it up and it makes it dry. Yeah. You know? So if that's what like a more of a classic toaster does, I guess it works. This one's better. It's better. So far, in this test, this one's in the artisanal bread test. Yeah, it's like no brainer. It's like so chewy still, but toasted. It's kind of like blowing my mind how much better this is. Again, triple the price of the medium one. Well, it's six times the price of this one, right? I mean, even right? more. That one's like $31 right now. Okay. So yeah, like almost 10 times the price of this one. But... Like a hundred times better. A hundred times better. <laughs> Whatever, however the ma math that works. Okay, final test is a from frozen treat. Eggos. Eggo waffles. So the artisanal bread and bagels are gone. And this is, uh, this is something everyone can buy at the grocery store. So I figured might as well try this, right? So yeah, I haven't had one of these since like middle school. I used to love these. I used to eat these frozen. It's been a minute. It's, you know, they're not that, they're not like hard out of the yeah, freezer. Yeah, for sure. All right, Eggo waffles done. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. So the Amazon one actually toasted this time. Yeah. First time it's toasted. First time it's toasted. The the hay one got a little burnt, which And is... we had the same issue, because I guess this one is not great for round things. The yeah. top of it wasn't getting any color, so we flipped it. This feels very hard. I guess a bit, one of the biggest knocks on this one is it doesn't really evenly toast. Yeah. Okay. So, Amazon one first. Not good. I was gonna go that direction. It's just hard. Well, I was gonna say that like, it's been a while since I had an egg and waffle, and not bad. Then this would be better if it wasn't burnt. The flavor is better. Yeah, I think this would be better if it wasn't burnt. Yeah. This one is the best, but it's like, not like, not loops and bounds. Yeah, like compared to the artisanal bread, this is like maybe like 10% better. Between these two, this is a better job flavor wise, but always will get the knock around like the unevenness. And this one is serviceable, it worked, you know, for the, for the egg waffle. This is one of the most impressive appliances that I've ever used. This is also $300, which is yeah. not approachable. Not approachable to many to, to many uh, many folks. I saw they have out a ten percent off. Okay, that's something. But I'll also say that like it's worth the price. Yeah, I mean, we, also we've been using this so frequently, and really, I have Maddie travels a lot for work, so I've been, and I don't cook, so I've been making a lot of like open face sandwiches with like. I melt the cheese in there, I toast the bread, I have like reheated pizza in here, I've put a croissant in here. We didn't have any of those things today. But all of them turned out so well in here and then I've been making my avocado toast, which is so good. I feel like at the price point, 
you're the what you're paying for the ninety five dollars with this one is the aesthetic Absolutely, of this, yeah. right? But functionally, it doesn't seem like the best toaster. No, it is beautiful on your countertop, but it really doesn't evenly toast, especially round shapes. Yeah, well, felt felt the most uh, non user friendly. And the most one you had to like, um, like micromanage. Yeah. Like it's not a set it or forget it type of thing. And then with with this guy, I feel like if you're, if you're like a first toaster in, in college or you just like need something, cute. for sure. Maybe you just only want to make toast. Or egg and waffles. Something. The egg and waffle wasn't too bad. Yeah, I would say it's weird that it doesn't toast things visually, like the bagel and the bread. It's hard to know it's done. You just can feel it and you can feel that it's toasted, but it doesn't look toasted. Going back to the, to the, to the Belmuda, I feel like it's very important to say who this is for because the $300 price tag is again, steep. Yeah. If you're someone who regularly buys, um, locally sourced artisanal bread and pays a premium for your ingredients, I think this is like you're getting the most. This is so product. worth yeah. it. The Someone, way that I have like clung on to this is like my favorite thing in our kitchen. Really says a lot because I don't spend a lot of time in our kitchen. I really just make smoothies or like toast, and that's it. Um, and I used to have to make toast in a pan, so I just wouldn't do it because it was like cumbersome to take out a pan. This is so nice. I can just set it and like walk away, and get my avocado mash ready for my avocado toast. And it tastes so good. Yeah. So there was one day I used it four times in a day. I put like all my meals in it. I had a lot of carbs that day. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> but I mean, it's amazing. I love it. Mia loves it too. Yeah. So honestly, get a Balmuda. If it's within your price point, get a Balmuda. Yeah. If you're just starting out and you just want like bare bones, get the get this one. If you want something ultra ultrian, ultrian. If you want something in between, that like actually is good, I would say to look for like a Breville or something. Yeah. Okay. So I think we said everything we need to say about these toasters mm -hmm. and the toaster oven. Thank you for joining us on episode four of Honestly. If you missed any of the other episodes, go give them a watch. I think they're pretty good. Like, subscribe, follow me at Ashley Hosmer on Instagram, follow Spoke at Spoke, and tell us what you want us to review next. Do you want another kind of kitchen appliance? Tell us, let us know, drop it in the comments. That's it, thanks for joining us, bye.